Right, let's go ahead and get started. So, first of all, welcome to Our Parks Live and thank you for turning up to turn it up. So, just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm Anika, I'm, I'm doing this class on behalf of, behalf of Our Parks. Pilates is a really nice way to stretch, to lengthen and strengthen the bones using your own body weight. It's good for turning up, really good for the core muscles. Uh, and like I said before, it's a really nice stretch to do first thing uh, in the morning especially on a Monday, so let's get started. So we're gonna, we're gonna start off in the correct alignment for Pilates. So starting from the bottom up, we're gonna have our feet hip distance apart. The knees are soft, which means they have a slight bend to them. The hips are facing forward. The pelvis is in neutral, so if you do a forward tilt and a backward tilt, we just wanna find that nice midway point in between. Suck the belly in, so in the class I'll say navel to the spine, it just means suck the belly in. Shoulders back and down, nice and relaxed. Chin is parallel to the ground, and imagine a piece of string on the crown of your head pulling you nice and tall. So you should have this really, really nice tall posture here, standing up nice and tall. Perfect. Okay, the next thing to bear in mind in Pilates is our breathing. Breathing is so important, um, and in Pilates we breathe in through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. And the other thing to bear in mind is, we're not just breathing into the chest like we might do in everyday life, we're trying to breathe into this space here, into the back of the ribs. So if you want to go ahead and put your hands on your lower ribs, you're gonna take a really nice deep inhale through the nose, really filling up this space, exhale through the mouth, keeping that nice posture. We'll go again, deep inhale through the nose, Exhale long through the mouth. Let's go ahead and do three more there. Deep inhale through the nose. Getting all that oxygen in. Exhale through the mouth. And again, deep inhale through the nose. On the inhale, you should feel that your hands are sliding away from each other. As you exhale, the hands come closer together. That's how you know if you're doing the correct breathing for Pilates. Again, we'll take an inhale through the nose. Really filling up the space in the back of the ribs and exhale through the mouth. Let's go ahead and do one more. The inhale and exhale long. Okay. The last part of the setup for Pilates is the core engagement. It refers to a few different things going on at the same time, but the two we're going to focus on for Pilates are the pelvic floor and the deep tummy muscles. So let's go ahead and engage the pelvic floor. We'll do three breaths there, then we'll do the deep tummy muscles and we'll do three breaths and then we'll do a couple of breaths with the two together. As I mentioned before, if you've done the class, this all comes with time and practice. Don't worry if it goes over your head, it will come to you. So we'll go nice and slow. Let's go with the pelvic floor. So the way I describe this, which always sounds a bit strange, is imagine that there's a hammock in between your legs and it's pulling all your internal organs upwards to 100%. Release by a third, hold it there. Let's do three breaths here and keep the core engaged on the exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale long on the exhale. This time we're keeping those abs drawn together. So we don't want to just let go of the belly. Now we're trying to keep this area tight. Let's do two more there. Inhale through the nose. Exhale long, lifting from the center on that exhale, keeping those abs drawn in. Last one here, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, draw the abs together on the exhale. Perfect, really, really nice. Let's go into the deep tummy muscles. So now you're gonna imagine this belt or corset pulled in on the tightest notch. So we've done our up, now we're doing our in. Just under the chest there, again, pull it to 100%, release by a third. So this area is nice and tight. Let's do a couple of breaths there. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale long, this time keeping that tight feeling, that belt pulled nice and tight. Let's do two more. Exhale, trying to keep that corset or belt pulled tight. We'll do one more. Exhale, okay. Let's go ahead and do two breaths with the up and the in at the same time, and then we're gonna get mobilized and get nice and warm. So, up and in, let's do two breaths. Basically, you're keeping this whole area tight. So let's go ahead, inhale, exhale, lift from the center, think up and in, keep this area tight. 
Let's do one more. Lifting from the center, pulling everything in. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look down. Head goes one way, through the center the other way. We'll go again. One more to each side, looking down, really feel that nice stretch on the neck. Okay. From there, we're going to go into shoulder rolls, up to the ears and round. We're just bringing the shoulders up to the ears and round, going forwards first. This should re feel really, really nice first thing on a Monday. Okay, let's go ahead and reverse. Backwards, shoulder rolls. Keep breathing with it. Keep thinking up and in. Think about the posture. Think about the breath. There's a few different things to bear in mind when it comes to Pilates all happening at the same time. So it's a bit like one of these, but... It all works. Okay. From there, extend the arms, small circles forward first. Keep the arms shoulder height. Keep that posture, feet hip distance, the belly sucked in. We're doing these nice arm circles forwards first. And then reverse back. Feel the back of the shoulders, the scapular area, just getting nice and, nice and warm and mobilized. Okay, go ahead and stretch out the arm, bring one arm behind. And then that same arm in front. And then the other arm behind and in front. Perfect. From there, we're gonna go into a nice squat. So feet wider than hip distance now. Keep that nice posture. You're gonna take an inhale. So feet and toes are pointing out, take an inhale. Exhale, sit into that squat. Inhale as you come back up. Sit, so it's like you're sitting on a chair and then you're getting up really quickly and you're raising the arms with it. We're gonna go a bit quicker now. Get the blood pumping. Really sink low, stick the bum out, sink low. Really, really getting into that squat. We're getting the thighs and the knees nice and warm. Let's go ahead and do four more. Inhale as you come up, exhale, squat, inhale. Do two more. Keep that posture, think, keep that belly sucked in. One more for luck. Perfect, okay. Quick balance exercise now. We're gonna bring one knee up, hold it there. Just suck the belly in, heavy supporting leg. If you wanna challenge yourself, bring the leg up even higher. So it's always really good in Pilates to work on balance. And this is something that puts you in good stead for the rest of your life. Balance is one of the first things to go as an age. It's good to work on it. So switch legs if you haven't already. Perfect. Okay. From there, we can just do an ankle rotation, just getting the ankles warm one way and then the other. Really nice. Okay. And then from there, we're going to go into a roll down. I'll show you first. And then you're going to take a seat on the mat. We're going to start seated and cross-legged. So you're going to come to the end of your mat. Take that same alignment that we started in, feet hip distance. Soft knees, navel to the spine, shoulders back and down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bring the chin in, tuck the chin in, bring the chin to the chest. Slowly start to fold over. If you want, keep your knees straight. Feel that hamstring stretch. If you have lower back problems, you can bend the knees and just come to wherever feels good today. You don't have to touch the mat if you don't want to. But keep the arms and head really loose and floppy. And then if you want to just come back up one vertebrae at a time, bring the head up. And then we're just gonna take a seat on the mat and get started with our seated exercises. Okay. So, from here, you're going to sit cross-legged and we're just going to do our side bend. So, Keep the navel sucked in. Take an inhale, keeping the sit bones firmly on the mat. 
You're just going to go ahead and take a side bend. The hand that's on the mat is just going to slide, slowly drag across and glide across, and the other arm is just curving over to meet it. Making sure you're still, both of your bum cheeks are still firmly on the mat. Inhale to center, exhale the other way. Feel that really, really nice stretch here down the side of the body. We'll do one more to each side. Last one, inhale to center, exhale, stretch the other way. Okay. From there, we're gonna go into a nice spinal rotation. So sometimes we do this one standing, but we're gonna do it uh, seated today. And we'll do it with our hands in a prayer position. So, hands in prayer position, elbows are nice and straight, they're not here or here. Thumbs to the sternum, so just to the center of your chest. And you're going to keep the hips facing forward and the belly sucked in. Keep that nice piece of string pulling you tall. Take an inhale and you're just going to exhale and you're just going to twist the upper body, keeping the hips and the rest of the body facing forward. Feel that nice spinal rotation. Inhale as you come back to center, keeping those elbows out nice and straight. Inhale, exhale, twist. Back to center, exhale, twist. So we're just doing these nice spinal rotations. Inhaling as you come back to center, exhaling as you twist the other way. We'll do a couple more there. Inhale to center, exhale, twist. Let's do one more to each side. Last one. Okay. From there, we're gonna go into our shoulder bridge. So in fact, I'm gonna just move because of my the lovely sunlight coming in. It's made me a little bit dark, so I think it might be helpful for you if I just move this a bit closer. There we go. Perfect. So from here, we're going to go into the shoulder bridge. We're going to do two versions. Let's start with a shoulder bridge with arms. So you're going to come and lie on your mat now. Feet hip distance, knees are bent, lower spine is flat on the mat. So you can't put your hand here. There shouldn't be a curve here. It should be nice and flat. When you're ready, you're going to take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, you're going to do a pelvic tilt towards you. So it's sort of towards your face, lifting up into a nice bridge. You don't need to come too far like this, just wherever feels comfortable for you today. And you're using the core engagement to do this, so you shouldn't feel it in your lower back. From here, you're going to uh, just float the arms behind and stretch the fingers behind you as you slowly roll one vertebrae at a time back down to a flat back position. And then the arms come back down. So we're going to do four more like that. Take an inhale. Exhale, slowly curving up into that nice bridge. Arms float behind. And rolling down at the same time, inching the fingers behind. Arms come back down. Let's do three more. Take an inhale. Exhale, shoulder bridge. Arms behind. Inch the fingers as you roll back down. Really enjoy that stretch. Let's go ahead and do two more. Inhale. Exhale, up into the bridge. Really nice and relaxed. Arms float behind, slowly rolling down. Flat back position. Let's do the last one. Let's really enjoy this stretch. So when we move our fingers behind, really inch them. It's like you're really trying to extend them even further to the wall behind as you're lowering down to feel that really nice stretch underneath. So let's go again. Last one, inhale. Exhale, shoulder bridge. Arms behind. Keep the hips stable, inch the fingers behind as you roll all the way down. Perfect. Okay. So for the next uh, shoulder bridge, I'll show you first uh, and then you can join me. And we're, again, we're going to do five of these. So you're going to come up, same position, you're going to come up into the bridge, keeping that core nice and engaged, keeping the hips stable. Then you're just going to Dip the hips to one side and then the other. One, back to center, two. And you're gonna come down one vertebrae and you're gonna do the same thing. Twist and twist. Down again, 
twist, back to centre, twist, and then roll down to the flat back position. So let's go ahead and do four more of those. If, if that hurts your back in any way, or if you uh, feel like you can't do it, go back to the first version that we were doing. Otherwise, inhale, exhale, up into the bridge. Then you're doing like a hip dip one way, back to centre, the other way. Roll down one vertebrae. Dip and dip, down one vertebrae. Really using those core muscles, hit the last one. And roll down. Let's do three more. Shoulder bridge, keep that nice core engagement. Dip and dip and down. One side, the other side, roll down one vertebrae, last one. And down, let's do, let's do a couple more. Up into the bridge, and again, really, really using those core muscles, think up and in. Hip dip, one side and the other, roll down one vertebrae, one, two, roll down, one, two, roll down to the flat back position. Let's do one more of those. Getting a really, really nice stretch. Inhale, exhale, shoulder bridge, one, two, down one vertebrae, dip and dip, down one vertebrae, really drawing the abs together, last one, and down, okay, perfect, really, really good job everyone, I can see some people who are doing it really well, so well done, hug the knees, circle them around the chest one way and then the other, get that nice lower back massage, so we're nice and prepped, we're going to go into some nice core burners now before we go into some nice uh, sideline exercises and then some nice cool down stretches so okay let's get into some hard work from here we're going to go into an exercise that I call prep for the hundred if you know the Pilates hundred um don't worry we're not doing it because this is, it is a mixed ability class but we are we are going to do a, um, the prep for it and you can challenge yourself by doing a harder version so you can this is the basic version same position, knees are bent. Either you can come up using the core muscles, so you shouldn't feel it in the head and neck. Come up into the crunch. We're going to do five pulses. Five pulses with exhales and then roll back down. You'll go again, come up into the crunch, use the core engagement and roll down. For those of you who want to challenge yourself, you're going to bring the legs up into tabletop and do the same thing. So knees are above the hips, toes are pointed, the legs aren't in this kind of uh, 90 degrees, they're a bit more like this. And you're going to do the same thing, come up into the crunch using the core engagement. Five pulses, lower down. Keep the head down. and roll down. So keep going with that, whichever option that you've chosen to do. If you're challenging yourself and bring the legs in tabletop, or if you want to keep your uh, legs down, let's go ahead and do five more of those. So take an inhale, bring the head down, inhale, exhale. Three more. Roll it back down. Otherwise, the harder version. Last one. And roll down. Hug the knees for a second. We're going to go straight into toe taps. So now the legs are in, uh, going to be in tabletop, so they're in that same position. Knees above the hips. Suck the belly in, really engage the core here. Imagine a piece of string in the belly button pulling it down to the ground. All we're gonna do here is take an inhale, exhale, tap the toe. Bring it back to tabletop, extend and tap the other toe. So this is the one that looks so, so easy. If you're doing it properly and you're using the core, you're gonna to start to feel it soon. Keep breathing with it. Inhale as you come back to center, exhale, tap the toe. Keep going, one and then the other. Really, really nice, well done. <sighs> Keep breathing. Making sure that when you're doing this, the lower spine is flat on the mat. 
And keeping that alignment, the form is everything in Pilates. They're just really precise and controlled movements. Keeping the lower spine flat on the mat, inhaling as you come back to center, exhale, tap the toe. Bring it back to tabletop, keep going. Try and remember to keep the knees on top of the uh, hips in that kind of nice alignment at the same time. Really, really nice just to get, get moving on a Monday morning, bright and early, it will set you up for the rest of the day. It feel really good that you've got your exercise out of the way. And we're going to work on having a nice tummy and nice toned body when we get out of this lockdown. Let's go ahead and do three more on each leg. Inhale to centre, exhale, tap the toe. Last one, engage your tummy muscles. Last one. Perfect. Hug the knees. Okay. From there, we're going to go into a double leg lift and lower. So this is another horrible exercise, but it's going to be really good for your tummy. So let's go ahead and do it. And again, as usual, I'll give you options. I'll show you first. If you want, especially if you have lower back, back problems, you can wedge your hands slightly underneath you to give you a bit of support. You're going to straighten the legs as best as possible. You're going to use the core here. Take an inhale, exhale, lift, and lower both legs. So you're really using the core to do this movement. If you can, keep your legs hip distance. So your feet aren't touching and you're just lifting and lowering the legs. You're not lowering them all the way down. You're just using the core to lift and lower. So you can go ahead and do that version. Otherwise, if you want to, you can come up into that kind of crunch position and do the same thing. So again, you're, if this is if you don't have neck or shoulder problems, come up. And that one is a real cool banner. So I'll go ahead and give you whichever choice you want to do, whether you want to do it in a crunch or whether you want to do it in your, with the head down. If that one is too much for your lower back, you can go ahead and do a double leg extension instead. So keeping the lower back flat on the mat. You can bring the legs back into tabletop and just extend them forward, toes pointed straight leg back to tabletop. So we're just doing a double leg extension instead. Remember, inhale as you come back to center, exhale as you extend. Really remember to keep the lower spine flat on the mat when you're doing this. And remember to use that core engagement as well. So whichever option you want to do, it might be these leg extensions, legs in tabletop, toes pointed. Or if you want to go for the head down, double leg lift and lower. Go ahead and just, let's do five more. I'll see how you're all getting on with that. Oh wow, I can see some people really going for it. Really, really good work. It's a really difficult exercise, so well done. Perfect. When you've done your last one of the five, you can just go ahead and stay in that same position, drop the knees to one side, head goes in the opposite direction, arms in a T position, Then go ahead and drop the legs the other way. We'll do one more to each side. Okay. From there, we're going to go into a cat stretch. So you can go ahead and come up onto all fours. So for this exercise, we want the fingers spread, the arms are directly, uh, the hands are directly underneath the shoulders and the knees are directly underneath the hips. Crown of the head pointing to the wall in front, looking down at the mat. Suck that belly in, the back is a nice strong table. And all you're gonna do is, in fact, prop the toes up if you want like this, rather than have you flat on the mat, give them a stretch as well. 
Take an inhale, inhale, arch, tuck the chin in. Exhale, reverse. Really enjoy this exercise. Inhale, arch. Exhale, reverse. So really feeling that stretch. Make the most of it. Inhale as you arch, feel that left knee of the spine. Exhale, reverse. Keep going, tuck the chin in as you arch. Exhale, reverse. Really stick the head out, stick the bun up, getting low. Let's go ahead and do two more. Okay. From there, you can go ahead and lie on your back. We'll do some nice, uh, we'll do a nice number four stretch and then we'll stretch out our hip flexors. So from here, you can bring one ankle over the opposite knee and just pull that leg in, pull that thigh in towards you. Really feeling that stretch down the side of your opposite leg, your opposite thigh. Great one if you have sciatica. Take an inhale, exhale, really pull that thigh in towards you. Enjoy that stretch, it might hurt a little bit. Keep breathing into it, deep inhale, exhale. Okay, switch legs now. Opposite ankle on the other knee. Pull that leg in towards you. Breathing into it. Don't forget to breathe. Perfect. The last couple of deep breaths. Okay. From there, let's stretch out the hip flexors as usual. So feet, uh, soles of the feet are touching. Soles of the feet together, lower spine flat on the mat. Get comfortable now. Heavy weights on either knee, pushing them all the way down to the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale. Imagine those heavy weights pushing the knees down to the mat. Feel this whole area, the hip flexors and the groin just opening up. On each exhale, imagine that the knees, there's something heavy on the knees pushing them down. Enjoy a couple of nice deep breaths here. And again. Okay. From here, you can go ahead and extend the legs forward. So let, just extend the legs in front, let the feet fall wherever, palms facing up, eyes are closed. Have a quick little moment to ourselves while we prepare mentally for the day. Okay, nice and relaxed now, palms facing up. The jaw and the face is relaxed. Top of the shoulders relaxed. Feel all the way to the tips of the fingers, nice and relaxed. Moving down the body now from the hip bones to the knees, to the ends of the toes. Nice and relaxed. Take a few nice deep breaths here, inhaling through the nose. Feel the belly rise up with air as you exhale. Another couple of breaths. Clearing the mind, enjoying that stillness first thing in the morning before, before the day starts, before any of the noise starts. Bring your mind of any stress. Feeling really happy and thankful that you've made this commitment to your body. Have a nice stretch. Commitment to your health. When you're ready, slowly. I'm going to turn to one side. You're slowly going to come to sitting. And then we're going to come back up to standing nice and slow. And we're going to do a posture check and alignment check. Okay. So let's check in with our alignment. 
So if you remember the posture that we started in, feet hip distance, our knees are soft, hips facing forward, pelvis in neutral, so tilt forward and back and find the midway point. Suck that belly in, shoulders back and down and relax, chin, head being pulled up nice and tall to the ceiling. So everyone looks like they've got amazing posture. Really feel that uh, alignment and that posture has improved. Hands on the hips, let's do some heel raises here. Let's get our balance and coordination. Think up and in, remember, pelvic floor up, deep tummy muscles in, take an inhale, exhale up onto the toes now. Just lift up onto the toes, hold it there. Really sucking that belly in, think about that core engagement. Keep the head up nice and tall. And just lower the heels down. We're gonna do a couple more like that, deep inhale. Exhale up onto the toes, feel really, really nice and tall and stretched, and lower down. Let's do two more. Up onto the toes, hold it there. Lower down, this time we're gonna hold it. So think about that balance, think about the up and in. Hold it there. Keep holding, keep breathing. Thinking about that core engagement. Suck the belly in. Think about that nice tall posture. From there, keep the head where it is and simply lower the heels. Feel that nice elongation, that nice stretch of the body. Perfect. Very, very nice, everyone. You've done such an amazing job. Give everything a shake. This is a nice little 30 minute stretch to get your day nice and started on the right foot. So, thank you so much, everyone. You should feel nice and stretched. You've all done amazingly, so thank you for attending, and I will see you on Wednesday at 10.15.